Hey, Ann. Okay, y'all. I just want to kind of give you a really quick plexus announcement before I get into painting. If y'all know me, you know that I love my plexus just as much as I love painting my stones. Hey, Amy. Hey, Rhonda. Okay, so this is the three-day challenge box that I've been posting about. So I just want to let y'all see what's in it really quick. Um, this box is four plexus products. It will last you three days. When you first open up the box, you're going to see that $20 coupon. The box was only $19.95 with free shipping, so it's actually free if you continue Plexus. The products are MetaBurn, the Plexus Lean Meal Replacement in Creamy Vanilla and Milk Chocolate, and your Hunger Control Slim and Active. Let me show you really quick what's in this box. All right, so you get three days. Day one, day two, day three. You get put in a really fun Facebook group. We have a really good time in that group. And this Plex is little, like the day one starts you out. It's got some, um, you know, dinner time stuff, to, meal suggestions. But here's the good stuff. You get two MetaBurn every day. That would normally come in a bottle that looks like this. You get one of the lean um, meal replacements. So you can do one of those every day. One stick of the Hunger Control Slim and one stick of Active. And if y'all follow me, you know I love mixing those two. But you get the same thing every day for three days. It's, you're able to see how well it fits into your lifestyle. If you feel any better taking the products, if the products are working well for you. But it's a really cool three-day try-before-you-buy kind of thing. So, like the box says, stop dieting, start living. <laughs> so that's my Plexus promo before we get to painting rocks. Anyway, our challenge our three-day challenge is going to start on next monday so really if you want to get into the challenge go ahead and message me tonight i'll send you the link and we can get you in the the challenge group it'd be a lot of fun okay so i'm gonna lower y'all know i set this on cans <laughs> i'm gonna lower this down i'm gonna lower my light down because i think I played around with the light, and I think this is the best. Oops, this is the best way that you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. I know that I have a lot of new people on. Hey, Sarah, and so I want to tell you a little bit about the tools that I use. I use the regular. Let me just get this over. They're nail dotting tools kind that you see at the beauty salon okay you can get them at sally beauty supply so they're nail dotting tools and then the next thing that i use most often i'll show you them i i have some in the package so i'll show you the ones in the packages these are called susan bates crystal lights and they are crochet hooks and they have flat bottoms and there's there's this size and then there's this package that has bigger ones but what they just put out, and so this was pretty much my biggest nail dotting tool. And this was the smallest crochet hook. So I kind of struggled to find something in between the two. But what Susan Bates just put out are three more sizes of crochet hooks that can be bought individually. And they're white ones, okay? Okay. So I've just numbered them one, two, three, and that way I can um, have something that takes me from the nail dotting tools to the size of the smallest crochet hook. Other than that, I came up with the ovals, and for my ovals, I use all kinds of different things. I use the end of a push-on eraser for some of them. I've taken um, a plastic knife and I have, actually, you have to file down a little bit. Um, they always have this little tiny bit of plastic on the end. But that makes a neat little um, oval. 
I use small screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers to make, I call them seeds. I think they look like seeds, but I've also used bigger screwdrivers, okay? So go out there and raid the garage or the toolbox and get all the flathead screwdrivers you can find. For things that look more like lines, I have a Panera Bread coffee stir and a Starbucks coffee stir, and I use the ends of these. Let's see, um, I use a popsicle stick. I use a large craft stick. And I've used emery boards. And when I first got started dotting, um, I would actually take erasers and I would put like a pin, um, like a sewing pin and put it in there and I would dot with that. And that's what I started out with. I started out dotting with things that were just around the house. So anybody can actually do this. I cannot paint a stick man, y'all. You know that. I have to dot. Um, that's about, that's the thing that I feel like I'm best at is dotting. So what I'm going to do, because right now I can't see your comments very well, I'm going to turn my husband's phone on so that I can read comments. It might echo for a minute. I have to turn his all the way down. And then sometimes I still need to, hey, okay, I can see. And you're so right. I do need a tripod. Anne said I need to get a tripod. She's so right. Okay. One of these days, hey, I'm just happy to have internet. So I'm hoping that this will actually come through today and it won't be all blurry. That's what I'm really hoping for. So we're just going to kind of play around with it tonight and see. This is the first time I've actually been able to go live in a while um, because the internet out here has just been so bad and I just got internet. There's a little bit of glare right here, but I think that you can still see it um, pretty good. So we're going to get started. I use all different brands of little bottle paints, but I have to say that right now, these Deco Art Americanas are my favorite. Folk art is good too, but folk art can be a little bit thick for me. Um, Craft Smart, I like Craft Smart paints. So, you know, any little bottle. I always end up um, sealing with Duraclear. So, that's what I seal with. I clean my tools with this... Um, nail polish remover that looks like this. And I can just stick the ends right down in here like this and clean them off um, when they are really kind of, you know, have paint on them. I don't wipe my tools with um, anything wet while I'm painting. In fact, y'all can see this top towel is almost ready to be retired. I have a couple more little ends on it, and this just an old terry cloth towel, and I just wipe my tools on that. The other thing that I always have handy is pointed Q-tips. These actually come from CVS, okay? And so I always usually have a bottle of water sitting beside me, and I can wet them and clean any little mistake that I'm making. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, and my cheaters. <laughs> my eye is still not quite um, right from when I had my shingles the uh, last month, and so I'm still kind of dealing with that. So, I'm going to tell you that I make more mistakes than I usually make. And that's just the way it is right now. So, I'm going to be doing pink 
and teal. They're two of my favorite colors. And between uh, blues and purples and pinks and teals, that's probably my favorite. Now, this is an art stone. My husband makes these. The back is always kind of rough. I sand it down, paint it. I don't really worry too much about what the back looks like. And he's gotten pretty good at making them where um, they don't have any a lot of bubbles. Some of these right now that I'm working with were a new um, anchor cement that he was using. And they do have a little bit of bubbles. So sometimes I'll make a dot if there's a bubble and it doesn't quite look like a dot. But we keep going anyway because you know... I don't worry about the little things. This painting is relaxing, so I can't let it stress me out. Okay, y'all know I'll kind of hold my hand and steady my hand. And Now, these molded stones, they have a little dot right in the center, so you know where the center is, okay? Okay, let me see. I'm going to start with a very light pink. I don't know. I think these deco art, um, they're just really the, the, light, the, the thickness that I like. Okay. When I do mandalas, I always start with a cross. So I do one on the top one on the bottom, and then I turn it around, and then I do one on the top, and one on the bottom. Now, when you get to what do you want to do next, you I could put two right here. I could probably fit two right here, or I could put one right here and do smaller dots in the middle, which is what I'm going to do. I try to get them as pretty much even between the two as I can. And if I had an actual stone and I was trying to find the center of that stone, see, I got to redo that one because there's a little, there was a little hole there. So I use, let me set this out of the way for a second. Only a wound measuring guide. <laughs> I'm a nurse, right? So it kind of fits, but it's, it's paper, it's plastic. And so no matter what the shape of the rock, I can put this over the rock and I can find the center of a stone. So I really like having that. You can get those on Amazon, but unfortunately you have to buy like a pack of a hundred. So for a long time, I was telling people, Hey, PayPal me, you know, enough to cover postage and I'll send you one. But right now I'm actually out of them. So if I get any more and y'all want any, I'll just order some and I can mail them out to you. I'll let you know. So I'm going to use the same pink. And this is the smallest. This is the smallest one that I have. And that's the smallest end that I have. So I don't really do anything smaller than that. And it pretty much depends on how much paint I put on the end of it is how big that dot's going to be. But I can get a pretty small dot using this tool right here. Sometimes I'll do, I wipe between every dot. Sometimes I don't. I don't know. I've never... I think I've gotten used to if the dot is too big, then I wipe between every dot. And if it is smaller dots that I'm trying to make, I'll wipe between every dot. And y'all know it's so funny when I'm talking and I get quiet. It's because I seem to hold my breath while I'm doing really tiny work. So now see that one wasn't quite where I wanted it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, now I'm going to use the next lightest color that I have, and it's an apple barrel paint. Um, it's called Aqua Sky. I just like the color of it, so we're going to kind of go with it. 
Okay. I'm going to use the smallest little white tool that I have. And I get just enough on there to, I'm going to go between these two. So I'm just going to go between each one of the other dots that I made. I probably could, um, let's see, that's got one of them little holes, so I'm going to redot that. It's still got it. Well, it's just going to stay there. Yeah, some of the, um, Ron, when he was making these rocks, he had a, um, I use anchor cement. Well, he uses anchor cement. And some of them didn't turn out like the other ones that had been, that we had been doing. But I'm going to use them anyway. I'm just going to double dot those because they're turning out a little bit bigger. And some of them don't even look very round. But that's okay. Well, let me see if I can see any comments. <laughs> hey, Becky. Ann says she likes nurse dot and hacks. Okay. Now, what to do? I think I'm going to put... Because y'all know, I never know what I'm going to do until I start. But I think I'm going to put a white dot between each one of those. And they pretty much have enough room where I'm not really having to wipe my tool too much between... I'm gonna wipe it because after you after you dip it a couple of times, the paint starts to get thicker, and then the paint gets thicker, and then there's the dots get bigger. Hey Heather, oh Sarah, thanks. I know I just I love these colors. Right now it kind of looks like baby colors, but it won't soon. We're gonna it's gonna get darker. The colors will get darker. Okay. Now I'm gonna go for a little bit bigger circle. And then we're, I'm gonna put my first row of petals around it. And I'm gonna go with a little bit darker pink. Now, this is a folk art that I'm using. This is actually just says folk art pink. Um, sometimes the folk art, because it's thick, will leave a little point so we'll just see what it does. And if I ever want to test it, look, I just use my tray and I'll dot, I'll make a dot right on my tray and see that is going to leave a little bit of a point. I'm going what I'm going to do is I have golden fluid. This is the most expensive paint, I think. I mean, I know there's more expensive paints, but this is the most expensive paint that I have. It's called a titanium white golden fluid. And it's very, very runny. And I can add a couple of drops of this to my paint. And it doesn't change the color a whole lot. So if I'm wanting to thin anything out, I usually use that titanium white. It'll look like it changes the color at first. But then it doesn't end up changing the color all that much. So, I'm gonna go with that. And I think that'll probably take that little peak out of there. Okay, get this back in the center where y'all can see it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a peak, but that will settle down. Now there's one, um, <laughs> there's, y'all know I love glitter and metallic and sparkly, sparkly stuff. 
Um, and so there's one paint that I absolutely love. And, oh my gosh, I bet I'm not going to be able to get it anymore because, you know, um, Nicole's paint came from AC Moore. I don't know if y'all have AC Moore where you're at, but it's like um, a Michael's or Joanne's Hobby Lobby, place to get arts and crafts. And Nicole's paint did not decide to stay with Michael's because Michael's bought AC Moore out. So I don't know where to get Nicole's paint anymore, but this is one of my favorite paints. It's called Candy Pink. It's a multi-surface glitter. And that is the coolest paint. It really does show up really good as a glitter. So it's, um, it's a lot of fun to work with. And so I kind of mix that glitter in with my metallic sometimes when I'm doing a really girly, girly rock. Now I have these two paints, but amazingly, they look very similar, so I don't know how much darker that's going to be, but we'll check that out in a minute. I'm going to do a row of petals. So when you do petals, you do what's called walk in the dots. What I do when I paint mine is I, you have to pretend that there's an imaginary line because, you know, we started out with the one, with the, the cross, right? So you always stay in this imaginary line. So as long as I'm making sure that each dot is in the center of the previous dot, I don't need to put down a stencil, okay? I can just run with it just the way it is because I'm keeping everything symmetrical. So what I do to stay on track is I do my first dot and I run it right along these two and I, I come down just a hair and I put that dot there. And then I go around and I put that first dot on all of them first. So I'm coming down from these two. I'm going to put my dot there. This thing that's under it is just some um, shelf liner. It just helps the rock not to slide around on my table. Wow, this looks, this looks like it's going to be a good rock for a baby shower. <laughs> And I'm not, I don't hardly ever do anything the same. Like some people will say, well, you move the rock sometimes and then you move the shelf liner sometimes. I'm like, I don't normally, I don't ever do anything the same way twice. It's hard to, let's see. Okay. Now, when you start, this is called walking the dots. You dip your, you dip your tool once, and then you walk them all the way around. Now, some people will, like sometimes, and I can't even say that I do this all the time, but sometimes... I'll go all the way around one way, and then I'll go back and I'll go all the way around the other way. And you know, I don't talk while I'm walking my dots because I'm holding my breath. Well, maybe it's not so much holding my breath, but it's very controlled breathing. <laughs> If your art group or your local art Facebook group allows you to share videos, I don't mind if you share the video. I don't even mind if you share it live, but make sure you get permission. Make sure it's allowed. Oh, actually, you know what? This video you might not be able to share because I talked about Plexus on it. And yeah, so that's probably... You're probably not going to be able to share this one. I'm sorry. I'll do more as long as this one comes out. So, hey, y'all have been watching for a little while. Is it, is it blurry? 
Is it turning out okay? Hey, Lucille, the small, this is, um, this is a nail dotting tool that I got from Sally's. I'm looking at it on Rob's phone and it doesn't seem too blurry. I can't believe I've been doing this three years now. It's such a huge part of my life now that I can't ever, it's hard to even imagine life when I wasn't dotting. That's just crazy to think. Whoa, that was a lot of paint. That's a big dot. Let me make these little dots. <laughs> Sometimes they happen. Okay, I'm going to use that. Um, I think I'm going to use the light, the lighter blue that I've got. Now I'm going to go up a size when I get ready to. Oops, I see one I missed. The glare's on it a little bit. Um, when I go up a, to do another petal, and that's going up a size, then I make the dot, the middle dot, bigger. I see it is getting a little bit blurry when um, when I turn it. So we'll just see um, how I'll, I usually watch them afterwards. And, you know, I put the um, phone, I'm doing this on my phone, and I put it on that auto lock um, autofocus lock before I start, so, but one of these days, this doesn't seem very mixed up anymore. Sometimes after they sit, and it doesn't even take long, you got to just mix them up a little bit, um, but what I was saying is, Sometimes they're blurry and sometimes they're not, but when my internet wasn't good, they were really um, terribly blurry. And that's why I stopped doing the lives pretty much. That and work has just been very busy with all of this crazy stuff going on in the world. So... I'm glad um, that I've been able to work. Um, I'm working from home right now, and I'm glad I've been able to work. So that's a that's a blessing. Okay. So because there's not a lot of room between the where the dots are going to come together, like right there. I'm going to use this end, which is a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go around and finish them up with that smaller tool again. So I'm only doing two. And I'm going to have to, I told my husband, I probably was only going to try and be on here an hour. Some of my videos go so long. And I know y'all hang in there with me as long as you can. Um, I do always save them, so you can always go back and look at them later, but, um, yeah, it's fairly clear. Hey, Michelle. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah, my son is telling me, oh, yes, this looks like an awesome baby shower rock. Hmm, got something to tell me there, son? I keep teasing them. I know there's going to be another one. 
I just know it. I know you hear me, Josh. I love all your babies. I miss my grandbaby so much. But we're being careful. And it's not going to be forever. Okay, now I'm going to get my smaller one. Sometimes when they get a little bit of paint on them, I just take my thumbnail and scrape it off. <laughs> Cassidy, I don't have my collar street on right now. She go yell at me. Uh, yep, I'm telling you right here on live. Oh, I know, Josh. I know there's going to be another one. It's okay. It ain't no secret. One of these days. Okay, so these look much smaller. Whoops, I get out of the I get out of the line of the camera sometimes. And that's okay. They're just going to be smaller because I want both sides to be able to go up there between right here. And you know, my stones, they're not perfect, y'all. I mean, sometimes I have gaps and by the time you finish the stone up, you just don't notice a lot of that stuff gaps here gaps there you just i mean i don't know i mean i guess if you looked at it really hard you could but i mean i do the best i can and that's the best i can I don't count the dots. Some people do count their dots. Now, see, this one is a really, really close one, and I'm not going to make it. It's just not going to make it, so I'm going to fake it out. Look, I'm going to put a dot there and a dot there and a dot up there. They don't even notice. Not even going to notice. And then if the lines were really um, far apart, then I'd spread this out a little bit like this one and kind of make them kind of come together. But at the end of the day, you're just not gonna notice it. Some people start this probably like me and they're perfectionists and then they give up because it just can't, can't seem to get them all right. But you know what? Don't give up, just play, just have fun. I'm gonna go back over this real gently if I can, because they were just so light. Okay, so that's a stone, and you've got two layers of petal on here. And I think I will go for one more layer before we move on. So I'm gonna go with this darker pink, where, we're, and I'm gonna put one more, and this will be a bigger dot. I'm trying to look at some comments. The comments don't just pop up. I have to move them. <laughs> Cassidy said, stop what you're doing and do a live color street application. <laughs> I should go get one and show y'all how easy it is. I actually do love color street. And I think the addiction is more so getting all the different colors <laughs> and all the different packs because I never know when I'm going to want something, and they're just all so pretty. I'm sure you all have some Color Street. Um, you have your Color Street girl, but if you don't, then you need to definitely talk to Cassidy because Color Street is so fun. Cassidy, drop your link. Put your link down there so my friends can... Get a color street girl if they don't have one. Do y'all even know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about fingernail polish. They're fingernail polish strips. Good Lord. I'm MLM in this uh, video up. Y'all don't be sharing this thing now. Talking about Plexus and color street. 
Great day. The Facebook police will put me in jail. I'm just kidding, y'all. Seriously. Hey, Cassidy loves Plexus, too. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all what, supporting small businesses right now is where it's at anyway. If you can get really good, high-quality supplements from a friend, and you can get nail strips from a friend, and you can buy your Tupperware from a friend, and you can buy your Pampered Chef from a friend, let me tell you something. That's the way to do it right now because people need their side gigs. And Plexus has um, always come through for me if I've ever needed anything. There's a lot of people that lost their jobs but still got a paycheck because of Plexus. So it's a very good. Now, see, I'm not taking these all the way up, y'all. You see? I'm only taking them a little ways. We're going to switch gears and then I'm going to show you how to do a. Can you see it? Okay. Hey, Wendy. All right, okay. Whoa. Yep, who's got a baby shower coming up? A virtual baby shower. I guess if this was blue, it's not really blue. It's more of an aqua color. If it was blue, it really would look like a baby shower rock. I've done a baby shower rock. I have a baby rock that I still need to get to someone, don't I, Cassidy? <laughs> Maybe when everything eases up, we can have a barbecue at the house. She can come out here and get her rock. Now that one, I took up a little further because I had more space there. All right. Okay, now I'm going to show y'all what the, um, what it looks like to use a pencil eraser. Now, this is a darker pink. I have a darker pink and a darker teal, so let's see what the names of these are. Royal Fuchsia and Peacock Teal. Royal Fuchsia and Peacock Teal. And I'm going to use, this is actually a pretty new pencil eraser right here. Let me show you what it's going to do. Remember, you can practice on your tray. Doesn't always come out the same every single time, but it's pretty close. See? Petals. It makes petals. Okay, so let's make some petals. Now, what I'm going to do here, let me explain what I'm going to do first. For whatever reason, when I make petals, I like to make sure that I have enough room to leave a dot. And I think a white dot would be really pretty up there. So I'm not going to put the dot up there yet, but I'm going to put the petal, but I'm going to try to leave enough room for a dot. So I follow the... Um, petal that I've already painted like that and then I do one in the middle sometimes I do a small one sometimes I do a big one this one's gonna be a big one okay so I'm gonna follow it the same lines of the petal that one had one of those little areas where 
I don't like that. Okay, let me show y'all how we clean up. Let me get some water. Cause I didn't bring water over here. Okay. I'll just pour it in a cap. See my little cap? Put a little bit of water on it. And there we go. Now, I'll tell you something that I do that makes cleaning up something like this really easy. When I base coated this rock, the reason it's shiny is because I put a layer of the black on it. Uh, I just had an apple barrel black, right? But then I put a layer of DuraClear on it because that way, if there's a mistake, it's a whole lot easier to fix it without taking up the base color of the stone. Let's try this again. Okay, much, 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 much better. Okay. They're not perfect. I'm not worried about it. It's still gonna be pretty. <laughs> And I'm going to try to speed it up just a little bit. But it's hard. To, when you paint and chat, you paint slower. Like people have said, Connie, you need a YouTube channel. But I don't know. I like to talk and I like to see comments. Wendy, that's an art stone that my husband made from a mold. But normally I use... Real stones, I always use Mexican beach pebbles. Um, I get them from a landscape company here in Virginia called Stone Center in Fredericksburg. And that way I can hand pick them. Now, when I do these, um, I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, I usually, when I top dot, I, I usually only just put a little dot, um, on the very top of these petals. I don't know. It's just something that I kind of started doing and, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to put my white dot, but I'm just going to base it on the area that I have. Now, after I've let this sit for just a little bit, it'll get a film on the top of it. And so I just stir it a little bit just to make sure it's still nice and, um, I don't know, just so that it's it's loose and it doesn't have a top on it. Now, now this little area right here, I'm going to use this end. Okay. And I think I'll use that over here. I hold it on. It makes the dot longer. I mean, it makes the dot bigger the longer I hold it on because the more paint's gonna come off of it. That one's gonna be a quick one because it's just a little area. That's gonna be a bigger dot. That's gonna be a quick dot. This is gonna be a super quick dot. Now, even though they weren't all even, putting that dot there kind of evened all that out. Okay. I have no clue what I'm going to do next. I guess I'm going to use this peacock teal, this darker, and I'm going to do another row of dots. Bigger. A bigger row. Let's see. I'm going to use the largest one of the small set of the crochet hooks. And I'm still going to try to follow 
that imaginary line from one end to the other, okay? Every time I turn it. I'm gonna wipe this tool off because I don't want there to get too much paint on it. Now, if you can see, because the, whoa, because it's starting to um, go down on the rock, you know, we're working our way down on the rock, it looks like it's starting to drip a little. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this up real fast. I'm gonna show you what I do. And you gotta be real careful and I hope I don't mess up while I'm doing this. Because I don't want all these drips to be in the same area, I take the stone and I just turn it upside down for a minute. And I just hold it because what that's gonna do is all the drips are gonna go towards the center. I just kinda shake it back and forth a little bit. And as soon as that outside edge of those, um, of those um, dots dry a little bit, it won't, it won't run. But some of this paint, if I don't do this, you'll see it start to run. So I just, this is just kind of shaking it out a little bit, keeping it even. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about. I'm sure you can a little bit. See those drips in the middle. I just don't want them to run and then not be true dots. And I only have to do this with the bigger dots. Um, it's just if I don't, then it's not gonna look like a dot. <laughs> They're gonna drip and it's gonna look oval. Oh, let me show you something while I'm doing this. I painted, um, you know, 100% uh, maple syrup comes in a little glass bottle like this. So I put color shift paint Black color shift paint actually looks a little gold under light. And I painted it. <laughs> I painted a little bottle. I'm going to put um, some twine around the top of it and use it as a little base. <laughs> but anyway, that's a non-rock thing that I painted. <laughs> okay, I think we're looking pretty good here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go back around it with white again. And we're going to try and speed this up a little. Like I said, I know this is a weeknight, and if you can't hang with me, I'm perfectly fine with that. But you know that I always save my videos, and you can go back and watch it later if you need to. I've gotten off a little bit right here. I can see that that dot's not quite in the middle. It's in the middle of these two, but it's not quite in the middle of that petal. So I'm gonna go to the left just a hair. When it's all said and done, unless you're looking at it under a magnifying glass, you probably won't even notice it. I'm not gonna worry. <laughs> Cassidy, you have one of those maple syrup bottles? Yeah, I'll take it. It was a lot of fun painting that bottle. The surface is really smooth painting on glass like that. Walking the dots, cleaning the brush, brush, dotting tool. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more white paint. I can feel the, I don't really like the tip of it to hit the, the bottom of the um, palette when I load the, the dotting tool up with paint.
They don't all look the same. They don't all have to look the same. This is a hobby. <laughs> We're not stressing over things that don't look exactly the same. See, this one's a little bit bigger than the one before it. Had a little bit more paint on it. It just seems like once they're all done, you don't notice all that little stuff. I think I've only said that a dozen times, right? One of these days I'll learn how to get a camera that doesn't have any sound and you won't have to hear me talk while I do this. <laughs> Linda, it's a, um, it's a maple syrup. Like when you go to, to the grocery store and you buy 100% pure maple syrup, they're in the, they're in those little bottles like that. I hear my husband in there listening to the news. Oh my goodness, that's just something that I just cannot do right now. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but you know, you get sick of hearing it. Okay. Second set I'm going to do with the darker pink. Don't ask me why. Be a bigger dot. It's a little runny, but not very. So I don't think I'll have to hold it upside down. I'm trying to keep it in the camera. Sometimes I get a little crazy and it doesn't stay right in the view. Okay. <laughs> you like to hear me talk, Wendy. Thank you. I have had a couple people tell me that, so that's good. And, you know, some of my stones, I cut vinyl, um with my Cricut and I'll put images or words on them out of vinyl. Um, I told y'all I can't, ooh, what happened? That had to be some, um, you see that? You see that boo-boo? Hold on, let me fix it. If I can't just take that up, then I'll have to get rid of that whole dot. But let's see what I can do to it. Boy, that is really stuck on there already. It looked like a piece of um, lint probably from the, um, the old terry cloth towel I'm using. was on this 
and kind of drug across it. I don't know about y'all, but this weather is about to drive me crazy because during the day it gets warm and then I want to turn the AC on and then at night it gets cold and then I want to turn the heat back on. So I don't know how many of y'all are in Virginia or are experiencing any weather like that, but man, I really am not complaining because I know next week is going to be our first week of getting into the 80s and that is warm for me. Okay, let's see. Not much longer. I want to keep this fairly short, although they never are, right? And I may have to come back and finish it tomorrow night with top dotting, because I really want y'all to see what the top dots look like. And I'm gonna do one more layer. Hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> We're doing check. I hear my doggie coming over here. I hear it. Okay. What you doing, Jack? My dog's over here. What he does, he comes over here. If I'm sitting here painting at night and about time for to go to bed, he starts pacing over here like, Mom, are you coming to bed? And he'll go in there. If Ron goes to bed, he'll go in there. And he'll lay on his little dog bed, his little dog bed. He's a bull mastiff, so he's a big boy. But he'll lay on his dog bed in there until Ron goes to sleep. And then he comes right in here and he lays up under my feet at my paint table until I get up and go to bed. Linda, you're in Massachusetts. It's still kind of cool up there. I mean, shoot, I heard about snow not long ago up there. Now, these are big dots. I don't want them to be big dots. I like that. And see, some of these, I'm kind of getting close to those little petals that I made. But that's okay. Some of them aren't. Some of them are. Okay. Let's see where we're at. You know, I wish I could have music playing in the background, but I hear that if they hear music on your videos, that they will take it off of there, so. Or cut out the sound. They'll cut out the sound altogether, so you wouldn't even be able to hear me talk. Okay, two more. Mm -hmm. I'll hum for you. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Lucille. I like these colors. Um, it's always fun to, 
At first they were looking like it was looking like a baby shower rock, but and it may continue to look like a baby shower rock. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to put a dot. I might even do a white dot. I think a white dot. I might have to hold it upside down, though. We'll see. I don't know, that's pretty thick paint, so I think I'll be okay. Whoops, there's one of those little holes. Doesn't, makes it look like the dot has a little divot in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can hear the news. I might have to go shut his door. <laughs> I think I will go do that. Hang on a minute, y'all. I'll be right back. like music and they tell me I can't have it playing so okay so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna do where we we okay I'm gonna show you drag dots um, it's not my specialty and I'm still practicing after a, after a year <laughs> of being shown how to do them but I do like them so I'm gonna show you how how to do it um, the trick to the drag dot is to go slow. Okay, so the slower you go, <laughs> hey Rhonda, the slower you go, um, the longer you can get the drag to go and the thinner it gets at the top of it. Now, you see that little bubble right there? I can pop that bubble as long as that paint's still wet like that and then it won't show up with the divot in it. Okay. I get a good amount of paint on the tool. I put my hands up under it a little bit and I'm gonna drag it from here and I'm gonna try to go straight up. And I want it really thin at the top because for whatever reason, I like to put a dot at the top. Okay, so making them very, very thin at the end. And some of them, if you think you can't, if you think I'm going, I'm, I'm going slow. Well, that means you still need to go slower because the drag dots, you have to go slow. The hardest part for me is to get the drag dot to stay straight, but we're going to try it here. <laughs> that was off a little bit. Mr. Moore, what you doing over there? Getting you a water? Ooh, I hear him behind me. Okay, let's see. Okay. One more. Can y'all see that? I'm trying not to get out of the way of the camera doing this. Okay, now what I do is I take a different color 
and I go beside that color. Now, this darker paint, it's um, still pretty loose. Let me get this thing back over here without messing it up. How many artists you got on there? I have 12 people on here right now. Huh? 12 people on here right now. Who? 12. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. She painting? Huh? I said I have 12 people on here right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go beside the other one and kind of take it down to that same point. Okay, see that? Let's see if you can see it. I'm looking at it on my husband's phone to see. When I hold it up, if you can see it, pretty decent. Okay. I'm gonna try and hold this one up a little bit more. So you can, whoa, don't mess it up, Connie, don't mess it up. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it up so you can see it a little better. It's the middle dry. Can I hold it like that? I better not do that. Okay. Okay. I wish y'all could see this a little bit better. Okay. But I think you kind of get the gist of it. You see what I'm doing. Okay. And so I do this all the way around and then I'll do it in a lighter color. And it just makes this little, I don't know, what is this called when all these go together like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep going around the side. Whoa. I like the way they look, and then it's funny because I criticize myself so bad when I'm first doing them, and then after they dry and the whole rock just kind of comes together, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I do, I do like the way that looks. So, I'm going to try and, I'm just going to, I'm going to put more on here, but I want to show y'all a little bit of top dotting um, before this video ends. So let me finish these up really quick and then we're gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of top dotting. Um, my very, one of my very favorite paints is Martha Stewart, Mother of Pearl. I use that paint a lot. I use that paint probably more than any other paint that I use because I mix it I mix a lot of other colors with it to make pearl paints out of them. Like if I don't have a pearl paint, and believe me all, I have a lot of paints, but if I don't have a pearl paint in the paint that I'm trying, that I was using, then I use the Martha Stewart Mother of Pearl to make a pearl paint to put on the top. So I'm gonna show you all that. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like. And I've used so much of it, I'm pretty much at the bottom of this one. Okay, Martha Stewart, multi-surface pearl, and the color is Mother of Pearl. Not Mother of Pearl Gold, that's another color, but I don't use it as much. And it is just beautiful. It's the perfect, in my opinion, it's the perfect consistency. So, I'm going to top dot this middle dot with this Mother of Pearl. And I really like to try to keep, you know, the center kind of bubbles up a little bit. And I do try to keep it as much in the center, the bubble as much in the center as I can, just like that. 
Now, my white dots that are around, I'm gonna top dot them in white in mother of pearl, and they're gonna look all pretty and pearly. Now, all those little imperfections that you saw in the beginning, this top dotting really starts to take that out. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad tonight. You know, when I don't paint as much, I shake. And when I start painting like every night, which I'm not painting every night right now, when I start painting every night, I stop shaking. So um, I know it's got to do probably with just, painting is very calming, I think. And um, when I paint, then everything is, you know, I can, it calms me down. And so, Stressful days and painting go very well together. Okay, so top dotted the white, all the white that I had going around it. And now, you see that, that first row of petal? Some of the dots, I just dot the center dot. I mean, some of these rows, I just dot the center dot. And on some of them, I'll go a couple of dots up. But for right now, I'm just going to dot that very center. I think it, it makes it, um, I don't know, it kind of looks like jewelry or something when you start getting into some of this top dotting. I personally think the top dotting is what makes um, these so pretty. So... That's why I wanted to show you a little bit of that before I sign off here. I see it getting blurry. Oh, hey, Patty. Yeah, you, you got your first bottle of it because I mentioned it. Oh, I just love that paint. You'll just love it when you get it. Okay. So that's all of my smaller um, little dots. Now I've got some different other pearl paints. I've got a Martha Stewart. Um, what's the name of this one? Party Streamer. That's a pink. I have a Martha Stewart Fruit Punch. So that's a darker pink. And then, of course, I have this pink that I absolutely love. That's that Nicole's Multi-Surface Candy Pink. That looks um, sparkly. And I have to use this. So I have to shake it. And I'll show you what it looks translucent, right? It looks really translucent in when you first apply it. But as it dries, it just looks very sparkly. So I think I'm gonna, it, you need to use um, a tool that is much smaller than the area you're trying to put it on. And I want to put it on these pink ones right here. And it's very loose. So really, I wouldn't really try to put this like very much on the sides of the rock where the rock is gonna, um, where it might drip, because it's pretty thin. Okay, but I'm gonna use it on that light pink. And then I'm also on these petals right here that were light pink. I'm gonna put it on that middle petal. Oops, I'm getting, sorry. I'm getting off track where you can't see me. I don't mean to do that. I did have an X painted on my table so that if I went live, I could um, not get off track. So I might have to do that again. Now I'm debating whether or not to do these other two. I think I'm gonna leave it like it is for right now. And I have another, oh no, I think we're gonna use this one. 
This is that party streamer. So I'm gonna use that on these dots right here. I'm just putting a little dot right in the middle of each one of those. Now, for the teal, I'm gonna use two different things. Okay, that's that light pink. This is another one of my very uh, big favorites is color shift paint. You see that? Oh my gosh, I love color shift paint. I'm gonna use that on the darker teal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my own um, for this lighter teal that I used. So, let me see. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. And then the teal that's already out here on my tray, I'm gonna take a little, it doesn't take much of it. Let me see which one is the least. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that right in here. And there I have a metallic paint that matches perfectly the color that I was using. Okay, so I just want a little bit of color with a little bit of pearl on there. Okay, y'all tell me what kind of rock this does look like. Is it a party rock? Is it still a baby shower rock? What is this look? What is it looking like? I don't know. Fruit punch and party. That's, <laughs> that's right, Wendy. I think so. We got the sparkles going now. That's got to be a party, right? Okay, I'm also going to do that middle one. Make up my rock back over here where you can see it. I'm gonna do that middle one all the way around. Um, I cannot recall the person who who has this product, but it's a spinner. Um, if anybody on here knows it, you can tell me. But it's actually a spinner. Thank you, Brett. It's a... Um... <laughs> Rhonda said it still looks like a baby shower rock. <laughs> it's a spinner that you can put it on and you can actually spin it around. Um, I have a candle. Let me show you. I have a candle that has a, um, a cork top on it. Where did that candle go? Usually it stays over here on my table. Oh, here it is. And sometimes I'll put my rocks on the candle. Let me move this a second. Look, I just got it at Target. It's a candle with a little, and I'll set the rock up there and then spin the candle around and work on the sides of it. So yeah, you know, we find things. We find ways to make things work, don't we? Okay. Now when I top dot the um, petals. Remember, I said I, I really just like to top dot the the top corner. So I have a light pink that I can use for that because I think I want to use a, a lighter color. This is Martha Stewart Pink Taffeta. And that's what I'm going to put. I don't know how I just started doing the tops of these. But that's just kind of what I do. So. Oh, 
Okay, I have the baby rock. Let me show you all the difference. This isn't a baby shower rock. It's a party rock. This, that's a baby shower rock. Look at that. Little greens and yellows and pinks and baby blues. That's a baby shower rock. <laughs> that one is spoken for. That one is Brittany's, um, Cassidy sister's rock that I need to get to her. All right. I think it's looking good. I like it. I'm happy with it. Mexican beach pebbles, they're very forgiving. If you get to doing something and you really don't like it, you just take it right over to the sink and wash it off. These aren't as forgiving. You can still wash them off, but then you have to do all of this, you know, re-base coating and all of that. These cement rocks, they're a little, they're not as quite as forgiving as a natural rock is. Okay, now I'm gonna top dot my white rocks, I mean my white dots with some uh, mother of pearl. I think the white just kind of makes this pop a little bit. I see my screen is getting blurry. I wonder what's making it do that. Hmm. See, it's every time I get in the way of the camera and I'm, I've always thought that was the internet, so I don't really know. Hopefully, when it plays back, it won't be that bad. If I could quit putting my arm in front of it, it might help. I don't know. Okay, so this is the last thing I'm going to show you. And I'll have a little bit more fixing to do on it before. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, this color is so beautiful. I don't know what in the world is going on with this. Why all of a sudden it's getting blurry? Is it blurry for y'all or just for me? Oh, Linda, I know. I really want more paint. I don't need more paint. I just want more paint. I love going to the store and buying paint. <clears throat> okay. See how pretty that is? Oh. Color shift paint is very pretty paint to work with. Now I wanna get a dot smaller than the one that I put on there cause I don't need it to cover up the whole thing. And I think I'm just gonna use, I think I'm gonna just use this blue one. Now, let me, let me show you something. If this doesn't, when you're working with color shift paint and a lot of metallic paints, you see this, you see this drip? You see that line? You gotta be very patient when you're working with these paints and you can't just dot it fast or this stuff will go everywhere. See, watch, okay? If you, if you dot it like that. So you've gotta be very patient and let that line, I don't know what else you would call it, you let that line settle before you move your your dotting tool. So let me show you. I get a, a good, pretty much good supply of it and to where it's not going to drip. And then I dot and I pull it up really slow. Okay. So you have to wait to get it on the tip of your dotting tool and then you have to wait and be patient as you're pulling it up. It's 
It's very pretty, but you gotta you gotta have your patience to work with it. Or you'll have a mess. I noticed that a lot of the um, gold, silver, those types of metallic colors, they're a lot of the brands are really bad about that. I have a couple of colors that I really love that I got from Target. Target has paint that they sell in little jars. I love the paint. I hate the jar. I feel like every time I use that paint, I want to paint with whatever's in the lid of it. But then I feel like, oh, I think that was it. But then I feel like it's drying out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. They're beautiful colors. This is... um. This is, what is this color? Made in the USA. Woo woo. What is this color? I don't even see the, oh, dark bronze, duh. And metallic warm metal. But I feel like, like if I shake them and then I open it up and I work with what's in the top of it, I just feel like it's gonna dry out the whole bottle, so. I don't know. I like the paints, but I don't like the fact that they're in a jar. Personal preference, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to do the middle. Whoa, got to be real careful with that one. The middle petal on the bottom. I already did the white one. I still need to do something on the pink. But the color shift paint is really pretty. Really has a lot of um, sparkle to it. Okay, now this one, because those dots are so big, I think I'm gonna run up the sides of it. I think that would be pretty. But you still have to be very patient. And I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm just gonna do the bigger dots. But this is where, you know, your top dotting, um, you can start to see the way that it's changing the look of the stone. It goes from a plain stone to a wow stone. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, let's see here. Um, Lucille, I, I got my molds from a company called the Happy Dotting Company off of Facebook. And they're actually out of Australia, but believe it or not, the molds came to me pretty fast. I mean, I didn't have to wait very long on them at all. And they have several sizes. They have this size, and then they have a smaller um, round size. They have a, well, they have, they have many different sizes now, but I like this one, and then they have a smaller one like this, and then they have a heart. And they have ovals. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want to get happy and start going too fast and mess this up. Y'all see, I don't know if y'all can see the way that this, it's stringy or not, but I still have to go pretty slow. And I still need something on that pink right there. Oh, I have this one. It's called, yeah, I'm gonna use the fruit punch one. I haven't done that yet. Ooh, that's a, that's a dark color right there. Okay, let me wipe this off. And I'm gonna use this for that middle one. And even though you can't see it very well, it, it does put a, a sparkle, you know, under the light, you're going to see it. <laughs> I, I told Ron, I said, you know why I don't paint that much anymore? And he's like, why? And I'm like, because you're not watching golf. And you're watching westerns. Like, he loves watching his western movies. But I said, I don't paint as good to gunfights and women being slapped around on these western movies. I paint really, really good listening to golf because it's so calming. <laughs> and he just laughed. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so... Some other things that you could do. So let me show you something. You see how this one was painted teal and there was a top dot of a pearl teal. I'm gonna take my second to my smallest tool and I'm gonna use this. And I hope I don't mess all this up. I'm gonna use the color shift and I'm gonna put a dot right in the middle. Of all of those. Now this is when it really starts to look very intricate, right? Okay. Might have to do a Facebook poll and ask him, is it a party rock or is it a... And you know, I'm still sitting here like, what else can I do? What else can I do? And I know I'm going to still finish those out later, but I'm going to take this darker pink. And this is my very smallest tip. Sorry, I don't mean to put my hand over here like this. <laughs> Golf or westerns, that's it, girl. Golf or westerns. Okay. I'm going to put a tiny little dot of that really dark right in the middle of those. It's working, it's working. Teeny weeny little dots. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I like that, so I'm gonna do that on these. Teeny tiny dots on all of that pearl. I know, y'all probably think I'm crazy, but I don't know. I like, this is what, to me, this is the fun part. Top dotting, oh my gosh, I just can't get enough of it. I love top dotting these stones because that doesn't look as good to me as I want it to look. Okay. And see, the, the, I mean, the paint dries pretty fast, and I'm not putting very much pressure. I'm not putting a lot of pressure 
on the tip of this painting, you know, this um, dotting tool. I'm barely touching it to get these tiniest little dots on here. And now you know why I wear my cheaters. <laughs> my little magnifying glasses. I saw some of those ones on TV that have like a light and a magnifying glass. I told Ron I wanted a pair of those things to try. I said, boy, I bet I really could do some top dot if I had those things. But I'm going to be getting off of here in a minute. I know I, I heard some messages come through about my, about Plexus um, when I first started this. And I told y'all about the three-day challenge. It starts next Monday. So um, if you go back and you watch the beginning of this and you see my, um, me talking about Plexus for a few minutes, it's because we have a challenge starting on Monday. Okay, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm putting a, a pink right in the middle of each one of these whites. Whoa. That's risky, y'all. That's risky. There ain't no fixing that. You make a mistake on that. <laughs> but I'm getting enough paint on here where basically I'm letting the paint almost drip on it instead of me pushing down because that way oh now see that one was a little more to the top than I would have liked but they ain't no fixing it the only way you could fix it I, yeah there is there's always a way to fix it let me tell you how you would fix it if I didn't really like that drip that one's kind of drippy and if I didn't really like that I would wait or let's try it. I could either try to try to get rid of it now and re-top dot it with the Martha Stewart, which is probably what I'll do. You roll the see that Martha Stewart's dry, so I think it's gonna be fine. You roll the Q tip over it. But if it didn't turn out like you wanted it to, then, and I go through a lot of Q-tips, y'all. If it didn't turn out like you wanted it to, just top dot it again with the, with the mother of pearl. Look, this is coming completely off, so it was dry. Look, completely off. Yay! So. Okay, now, whoo, blow it for a minute. Okay. Now, I'll put the dot where I wanted it. In the middle. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I know I still have some stuff to do on the sides of it to finish it up. But, um, and I know y'all are probably getting tired too. So, I might do just a hair more, but. It's about time to give it up for the night. Oh gosh. This was that color that I had to thin out with the titanium white because it was a very thick folk art paint. So let me stir some more of that together. Gotta make that pink color again because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the sides and um, since eight of y'all are hanging in there with me, <laughs> I'm just mixing some paint. Whoa, don't let that touch my rock. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I'm getting some paint on my hands and I don't want to um, mess anything up here. I'm gonna use the smallest end of this one. And I'm just gonna go a little bit more. 
a little bit further down. Can y'all see that? Yay! Okay. Well, when we got the internet, um, it's late and I only have 10 people on here listening to me now. So I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't even know who's on here. Good night, Wendy. Okay, y'all. When I got my internet last week, we got Netflix back. So guess what we watched i would have never in a million years thought we would have watched this i bet y'all can guess what do you binge watch when you get netflix <laughs> tiger king oh my gosh y'all well we only watched a couple of them but man we were just laughing through the whole thing, going, I can't believe we're actually watching this. <laughs> so I don't think I've gotten to, like, the meat of it. I think I've just, we just kind of watched the first couple where it talks about, um, basically, that he has tigers. But it was just funny that we were actually even watching it. Because neither one of us, I mean, we'd seen it, you know, you see it on Facebook, you hit, see memes, and you see people talking about it, and you're like, what is this? <laughs> crazy stuff, man, just crazy stuff. That's wasting time right there, <laughs> Tiger King, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, y'all. But it is, it is nice to have um, the internet back. So when I do want to paint, I can go live. Okay. I'm going to do one more color, which is the blue. It's not blue. It's teal. What did I call this? It is aqua sky. Aqua sky we're going to do. And I'm going to use the smallest one because if not, it's just no, not that side of it. And I think my towel is going to be about done for after this. Nope, I need the bigger end. I just don't need a lot of pain on it. See, these are the, this is the part that I fuss at myself about the most. These, these, when it gets to this part. And I just need to play around with it more and practice and Get them like I want them. My friend Leslie Kennedy showed me how to do this. She has the um, the site called It's All Unique. Beautiful, beautiful rocks that she does. And when I was on a travel assignment in Oklahoma... I actually went, I felt that on my arm. What did I hit? I actually went to Wichita, Kansas to meet her, and we did a live painting on Facebook. I don't know if any of y'all ever saw that when me and Leslie painted together, but man, that was one heck of a day. That was a very, very fun day. Kind of just a surreal day. Like, you know, you wouldn't, you've been kind of Facebook friends for a couple of years. And then, 
you actually got to meet someone halfway across the country because of where you ended up. It was just really weird. But definitely look her up if you haven't. And I do have a few of my rocks. I don't know if y'all saw my post earlier. Um, I'm posting every now and then in a group called Rock That Art Auction. Lots of um, really good rock painters in that group. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little different, okay? Because, because some of these are not like pinpoint, like if I can, like to put a dot at the edge, I'm gonna put an oval. Let me see what size oval. I'm gonna use a popsicle stick. Yes, perfect. And I think I'm gonna use the dark, should I use the dark green? Yeah, I think I'll use dark green. Oh, now look how that looked. I'm going to try to point it up here to you without messing it up. See that? That's what I want it to look like. And it covers up all those little ends. And I don't know. It looks like some kind of a end to a feather. Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the terms to all of these little art things. I just know I like it. I gotta watch this green paint though. It's, it's running y'all. What's the brand of that paint? That's Art Deco. Usually it's just not that runny. I like it though. I like it like that. Okay. Wow. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. But you know. <laughs> you know. I'm not done. I'm just not done. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm going to take the pink. And I'm going to do some little... One of these red popsicle sticks I have sanded down on an emery board to where it's little and I'm gonna take this pink I gotta stir it up a little bit okay I'm gonna play here for a minute and see what I want it to be because there's they're gonna be little going to be like that. Like one this way, one that way, and one in the middle. Okay. Now. I think we're going to do that on each side each side of the petal or not <laughs> oh my gosh am I gonna do anything else to this or not it just seems like there's a lot of blank space down there oh thanks Lucille thanks y'all for thinking that it's so pretty I still want to do something else I think I'm gonna do something white on each side of, I'm gonna pour some more white in there because I don't wanna stir that up. On each side of that dot, I think I'm gonna do a white dot. That's a lot of paint. I don't want anything that much. A dot there. 
and a dot there. Yeah, I like that. Look, I'll show you. I started on a purple one, too. Look, see my purple one? <laughs> I do start them, and then I stop them, and then I get back to them. Let's see, right there. And right there. Yeah, I like that. Right there. And I will, as soon as these dry, I will top dot them with pearl. Because most paint that dries will dry with a divot especially white. White's really bad about that. You can see it on some of these little ones. I don't notice it as much on the little ones, but I notice it on the bigger ones, and I, I just, if I put the pearl paint on top of it, you don't see that. And I will top dot that little oval that I did on the top of those little, what are we calling them, fans or whatever. Um, I'll top dot that with some color shift. Oh, that's dumb. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna do anything else. Thank you, Ann. Um, yeah, I think I will, just because I want to. I'm not done yet. I'm not quite done yet. And I'll probably put a white dot above each one of those on each side of the lower petal. Let me put it over here where y'all can see it. I'm sorry, I'm a little out of the way. Right here. So, it's just on each side of the, the little fan. And I'll go back on top of this with a little white dot. Uh-oh. Okay. Mess up. Let me get my Q-tip out. That was just crazy. Super easy to fix, though. Okay. Take two. see what I'm doing. This is just some little design I'm putting around the edge of the rock. I think after this um, I will go back up and put that a white dot. And do that top dotting. Look, and I said that I was going to stop this so that it wasn't so long, but look at that. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
If you want to go back and watch it in stages, just remember where you left off at. Sometimes if I do that, um, if I do one side here like this, and then I re-dip, I can do the other side and then the little one in the middle off of that same dip. It's according to how much paint I end up with it with on, on it. Like that one's got enough to do it. Okay, almost done. Going around the sides. Well, maybe y'all are gonna see the whole rock get painted after all. Okay, now I want to put white dots on top of each of those. Don't necessarily have to be right in the center, just thereabouts. Am I getting off center again? Whoop, sorry. And hopefully I'll have a better lighting system one day too. Because I know the lighting is not the best. It's not bad if I'm working right on top, but when I start working on the sides, it gets harder for everyone to see what I'm doing. Okay, and that's going to have to dry for a while before I top dot, but you can see all the way around it. It's got that design. I don't know. I'm looking at my husband's phone to see if y'all can even see that blurry mess. To me, it looks blurry. I don't know. Maybe it's just his phone. <laughs> Anyway, okay, y'all, it's time to go to bed. So I am going to sign off. Um, if you want the link to the three-day challenge, just message me, and I will send you that link, and you can jump into that three-day challenge and see what I talk so much about my plexus for. Okay, guys, good night.